Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how to install RoboG on your system. You can visit www.avishkarbox.com slash softwares to download RoboG 2.0. Just click on download RoboG 2.0 to download the software. As you can see, I have already downloaded and extracted the file. In the RoboG folder, double click on setup file. As you can see, RoboG is installing. Click on next. This windows gives you the option of choosing a path where you want to install RoboG. By default, it will be installed in your primary partition in the program file folder. Click on next. Select the language which you want. This will install WinAVR on your system. Click on I agree, next and install. So now as you can see it is extracting and installing WinAVR on your system. This can take some time. Click on finish. Now as you can see RoboG is installed. First of all connect your Robotronics brain with your system. In order to burn your program to brain you need to update USB ASP in Windows 7. For this click on Windows then right click on computer go to properties and click on device manager. Now in device manager as you can see you have no drivers installed for USB ASP. Right click on USB ASP, click on update driver software, browse my computer for driver software. You need to browse to your RoboG folder as my RoboG folder is on desktop. Browse path to RoboG folder, click on USB ASP folder and select folder. Then click on next. Now drivers are installed successfully. Now we will make a small program. Open the RoboG software, click on control button, drag and drop start block, then click on motion button, select the motor direction block, drag and drop motor block onto the top left corner of the start block. Right click on motor block, set motor direction, select the port on which motor is connect then select the direction and set. Then drag stop block. In order to compile the program you need to save the program. Click on file, save, give a name and save. Now go to tools, compile, you need to wait for some time as the software is checking for errors. As you can see your program has compiled successfully. Now go to tools, click on burn, it will tell the brain is connected or not. Your program is burning into brain. Now program is successfully burned on the brain. I hope you enjoyed. In the next video, we will try on some new program.